Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big. Again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got it all for you right here. Before we get started with some Major League Baseball action for August the 28th, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP Club section. Again, see all these tools with these tabs across the top of the screen. All great things to help you make your picks. So the Major League Baseball season is down to about the final month and things are really heating up, particularly in the wild card races. So let's take a look at some of the games that could be of some importance. There are five games that we will look at for August the 28th. The first one we want to look at is the Los Angeles Angels and the Philadelphia Phillies. The Phillies are coming in looking to, to take hold of the first wild card spot in the National League. They are coming in average down, winners of three out of their last six. Uh, while the Angels are coming in dead status and they're having some problems of their own with Mike Trout being injured, Shohei Otani playing with a torn UCL, not pitching but hitting. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, they are dead status, just one in five over their last six games. If you look at the over-under, the teams have been involved in games more over than under uh, over the last, uh, let's see, 10 games combined. Uh, the score prediction has Philadelphia by an 8-1 to one margin, pretty hefty. Uh, margin of victory for Philadelphia, but the confidence is only about 56%. The power ranks indicator shows a decided advantage for Philadelphia at plus 20 compared to plus 8. The teams have not met this season, um, so that is not of any importance to look at. The stability factor we will see here, Philadelphia has been more consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status at plus 13 compared to plus 7. The Phillies' backs are coming to life at the right time. I like Philadelphia in this one. Let's take the Phillies at home in a game over the line. The next one we want to look at here is, you can see it's a full slate of games. Here, Houston and Boston. Houston comes in, ice cold down. Winners are just two out of their last six. While Boston's coming in burning hot four and two over their last six. But the thing is, Boston is near the bottom of their division, while Houston is in a three-way battle in the AL West. If you take a look at the over-under, you can see Houston has been involved in games over as well as Boston in each of their last six. You expect a higher scoring contest in this one then, but the score prediction has a different view of that, 5-3, to three, but the confidence of prediction is very low of only 37%, so I would take that with a grain of salt. Take a look at that as it gets closer and closer to game time before you make your decision on that. Uh, on the power ranks indicator, Houston is at plus 21, while Boston is at plus 20. This just shows how... They're playing at the moment, not overall for the season, because Houston is clearly the better team uh, for the season. And I believe that that's going to, the way the, the, the prediction is going to go. But let's take a look at the head-to-head -head matchups. You can see they played four games. They just came off of a four-game stretch in Houston, where Boston won two out of four. And they blew out Houston in the last one by a surprising 17-1 to one margin. I like revenge in this one. Let's go with Houston to really thump it to the Red Sox, just take them down easily in this one in a game going over the line. Okay, so the next one we want to look at here is Cleveland and Minnesota. In the AL Central, a very weak division. Uh, Minnesota is up and out in front in the division, but Cleveland is right behind that, but they are six games out. So this is an important series for Cleveland. Uh, you can see Minnesota comes in average status. They're three and three over their last six. Cleveland ice cold down there, just two and four over their last six. If you take a look at the score prediction, you can see here that if it wants to work, it's not coming up very well. Anyway, the score prediction, here we go, has Minnesota by an eight to three margin with confidence in prediction pretty high of about 72%. Um, the over under is showing that the teams are trending on opposite sides of the line, so it's a little difficult to make the prediction as far as that goes. I think I would probably avoid that in this case. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, you can see Minnesota is at plus 14, while Cleveland is at plus 13. And if we take a look at the head-to-head -head matchup in this one, you can see in the last four games, it was Minnesota 2 and Cleveland 2, and this was in Minnesota. That was June the 1st through June the, the 4th. And then previously, they played back in May. This was in Cleveland with Minnesota taking 2 of 3 in Cleveland. And most of the games have been very... Uh, tight games and relatively low scoring. The only one that was higher scoring was a 7-6 to six output on June the 1st. So I like the trend to continue in this one. I think this is going to be a Minnesota win at home 
but I'm liking the Minnesota win in the game going over the line. I don't like Cleveland. They're only 27 and 35 on the road. Minnesota is much better at home. San Diego and St. Louis. Here's a matchup of two teams that have been very disappointed. Both probably expected to be in the playoff hunt. San Diego and uh, St. Louis are combined 22 games under 500. With St. Louis at 16 games under 500 in the last place. Um, they are ice cold up at 2-4 and four over their last six. San Diego is average 3-3 three and three over their last six. If you look at the over-under, they're trending in games on opposite sides of the line. St. Louis over in their last four and San Diego under in their last two. Uh, the score predictor has this uh, as all San Diego with a pretty high level of confidence and prediction of 72%. You see a 9-1 to one margin. Uh, that's a pretty big blowout if that would, were to hold true. The power ranks indicator, not a surprise with both teams near the bottom right now at plus 5 compared to plus 2 in favor of San Diego. I don't think the teams have met yet this season. Let's take a look. No, they have not yet met this season. So they have six games between the two of them just over the last month of the season. That will be interesting to see how that plays out for those two teams. Um, I like San Diego. St. Louis is just a terrible home team. They're only 28-37 at home. I like San Diego. So let's take the Padres to win in this one, but pass on the over-under. Now we want to look at we have a few games left here. You see the big schedule here for Monday. We're going to look at one more contest here. Cincinnati and San Francisco. You take a look at this one. The Reds and the Giants, uh, both teams are still in the playoff hunt. So this is an important series between the two teams. The Giants come in ice cold up. They're coming off of a win, but just two and four over their last six. And Cincinnati averaged down three and three over their last six. The biggest difference in this one is going to be the pitching matchup. We don't know who's going for for the Giants, but we know they're not a very good hitting team. And the Reds are going with Andrew Abbott. You can see he had a very good ERA of 3.16 with a fine record of 8-3. And, and look at this. He's an excellent bet at plus $905 on the pitcher profit oscillator. Uh, the score prediction is in line with what I'm thinking as well, with Cincinnati favored uh, in, the, in the prediction, I mean, by a 6-2 score with about 71% confidence. The over-under is going to be a little bit more difficult to predict. If you look at the trends here, they've been trending in games uh, basically even over under and alternating between over and under, both the Reds and the Giants. Um, on the power ranks indicator, Cincinnati is on the upward trend at plus 19. San Francisco on the downward trend at plus 11. And on the volatility oscillator, neither team has been extremely consistent with regard to their favorite underdog stats. You can see here, this is Cincinnati. They were at plus 11 back in May, and they haven't hit that mark since. They're, they're right now at plus 8. And the Giants were at a high of plus 6 only back on July the 17th, and they are now currently at plus 4. So in the end, what do I like in this one? I like the Reds. I think the pitching is going to prevail in this one. I like the Reds in a lower scoring game, so to go under the line. So there you have it. Those are the games for Major League Baseball for August the 28th. Happy betting and see you next time.